What's going on guys? This is Ferox and welcome to my YouTube thumbnail tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to create a simple yet effective style for your YouTube thumbnails. As you can see here, we have a simple glow effect on the bottom, but the main attraction is the text and you kind of want it to be, you want it to be appealing for people to click on, right? You don't want your thumbnails to be too bright and too cringy either. But let's say you want to add a cringy picture of your face down in the right hand corner and you want more text than just one line of text. So for example, I just made this for an example. We're not going to be doing this today because it's pretty simple to do. But here's an example with a cringy ass picture of your face over here in the right and your text. I, I have the text aligned with the image. Now for this tutorial, we're going to be using a blue color scheme with the with the background color it will be a dark blue here's the color code if you want to copy it down you can just pause the video and copy this down and I'll give you a color code for the light blue as well now you can do this any color you want it doesn't have to be this exact blue um, so yeah go ahead fill your background layer with that dark blue color and go up go ahead and create a new layer um, and make sure you have your light blue color in, uh, in front on your color palette down here. Now we're going to use the brush tool to create that glow effect along the bottom going up. You can also do this on the top of your artboard as well. Now I'm going to zoom out because we want our brush to be wider than the artboard because you don't want your brush to be too intense. You don't want it to be too small. Align the top of the circle with the middle of your artboard. Somewhere around the middle, you can just do this by eye and try to center it. And just click once. Now it does look really bright right now, but we're gonna add a background texture which will create it, which will make it a lot darker. So any background texture can work. I recommend using a black and white image because whatever color your thumbnail is, uh, the, gl the glow overlay in the background will change your image to the same color if that makes any sense. I'll show you what I mean. So go ahead, drag your background texture onto the thumbnail. Now since mine is in, in a really large resolution, I'm just going to bring this down just like that. Make sure your texture is underneath the glow layer. For this tutorial, make sure your glow layer is above everything, is above everything else. Now select your texture change the filter to soft light and also change the opacity down to 70%. Now that will give us a subtle texture, not too intense. Um, now this, this texture image can be replaced with anything. Let's say you went on a trip to Las Vegas or wherever you're going, man, you can just put an image of Las Vegas in the background instead of this texture. Now what I'm also going to do, I'm just going to add, a subtle inner glow to the background image. So go ahead, bring up your layer style panel for that and click on inner glow. We're going to use that same light blue that we have selected. Keep the opacity at 50% and the size at 2% and it gives it this nice little outline, not too intense. You know, I, I like paying attention to detail. You know me guys. Now we're going to get into the text part of it. So the font I'm using for this tutorial is Futura Bold. Most computers already have this font. If you don't, it's okay. You can use almost any font for this tutorial. It doesn't really matter. Why did I even type Futura on the damn thing? I meant to type tutorial. And I'm going to keep the font size at around 200. And let's just go ahead and align this to the center of the background. Boom, there we have it. So right now, I don't have any layer styles on this. Make sure your text is above your texture layer. We're going to keep this text the same light blue that we that I showed you guys at the start of this tutorial. Now go ahead and open your layer style panel for this. We're not going to do too much to it, except we're going to add a, an outer glow. Let's put the opacity to around 30%, not too bright, and the size at 5 and we're just going to keep the color white. Copy this layer and create a new one. And you can just do this by selecting the layer by pressing Control or Command J on your keyboard. And there we go. That creates a copy of the layer. 
drag that copy under the original text under under the original text layer and we're going to remove the outer glow on it and we're going to do a color overlay and make this black just straight up black it doesn't really you don't even have to do a color overlay you can just change the color of the text it doesn't really matter now what I'm going to do I'm going to move it a few pixels to the right and a few pixels down. Now I'm just doing this by eye, it doesn't have to be exact, but I try to get it to around the same width on either side. Doesn't have to be perfect, you know, this is a thumbnail. So make sure you select your original text layer. We're gonna copy that layer again and create a new one just by pressing Control J. Remove the outer glow again, put the fill down to zero. Now the first stroke we're gonna do, we're just gonna do a white stroke. Keep the size at one, Put the position to the center instead of the instead of the outside and click OK. Now we're gonna offset offset this stroke to the left. Now I'm gonna move it to the left around the same around the same amount of pixels as I did the drop shadow and do do it the same going down. Actually, not the same. We're gonna do it a little bit smaller. Now we're going to control J again, and we're going to make a black stroke. And just change the color of the stroke to black. Keep everything the same. And we're going to move the black stroke to the right. We're going to offset it to the right. Around the same, around the same amount of pixels. I'm just going to adjust the drop shadow a little bit. Okay, now there's almost a little bit too much going on, right? It's like the black stroke is kind of overpowering the text right now. So what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of we're going to get rid of some of it. So go back to your, your original text layer, the blue text. Press control or command on your keyboard and click on this little rectangle part of the layer. Now go up to your black stroke up here. I forgot to rasterize it. Rasterize layer style. Right click, rasterize layer style. And just press delete on your keyboard while you have it selected. Now we're going to go select, deselect to deselect that layer. And there you have it, guys. Oh, one more thing before I go. I want to show you guys how to quickly change the color of your thumbnails. Go ahead, go up here to your adjustments tab. Click on hue and saturation. Now, in your layers panel, drag it up to the top, and all you simply got to do is drag this arrow and just change the colors really, really easily. Like, you don't have to go into every other layer and individually change the colors. You can just move this dial up and down. But yeah, that's how you make a simple thumbnail tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.